Welcome friends to today's video, as I take a break from my regular schedule to bring you a special featured product presentation. Question: Did you know that the most powerful TV box is sitting right in your hand and you don't even know it? Do you have a high-end cell phone with a Type-C charging port that you're not using anymore, or the screen is damaged but you can still power it on? Do you have a cell phone or TV box and have a weak Wi-Fi signal, and would like to use a gigabit Ethernet LAN connection instead? How about if you are into Android gaming and can't seem to find the right TV box to render graphics in the highest quality possible or view it on a big screen in 4K quality with gamepad controls? Do you want to know how to achieve all this with the help of a single device? Introducing the Chotec 9-in-1 USB Type-C Multiport 4K Adapter The Chotec Multiport Adapter is an innovative device created to give the user the power to connect a mobile phone, mini PC, laptop, or any device with a Type-C port to a display with an HDMI port and connect USB storage devices and controllers for a whole new way of entertainment. Do you think this type of device is right for you? Stay tuned, a full review is up next. Welcome back, so this is the box the hub comes in. And in this box, contains a 60 watt multivoltage USB charger, that can output up to 20 volts 3 amps using an auto gain voltage technology. This charger is sold separately, and I will show how it works during the video. And without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. So these are the contents of the both boxes, and what you get is the multiport Type-C hub itself and a user's manual. And here is the Chotec USB Type-C charger and a user's manual. Let's take a look at its design and ports. The Chotec Type-C hub in similar fashion to most hubs, adopts a rectangular shape with most of the ports on the two long sides, and one port on each short side. To one of the longer sides. You have one HDMI port with a max resolution of 4K at 30Hz. One VGA port with a max resolution of 1080p at 60Hz. And one Gigabit Ethernet LAN port at 1000 megabits per second. To the other longer side. You have three USB 3.0 ports and one microSDTF card reader. To one of the shorter side. You have a standard size SD card reader. And to the other short side. You have a Type-C charging port whose only function is for charging connected devices. And I strongly recommend you use the Chothek charger as it is designed with ample power to charge all devices connected to the hub while in use. A regular phone Type-C charger may not be able to charge additional devices adequately, hence why Chothek provided this charger. Not included in this purchase is a Type-C to Type-C cable needed to use with this charger. You can use one of your own if you have this type of cable, or you can purchase one from Chotec using the link in the description area. So to create your Super Android TV box you will need the following things. The Chotec Type-C Hub, which is the integral bridging device. An Android cell phone with a Type-C charging port. An HDMI cable to your display. A mouse and keyboard, or a mini touchpad keyboard, and a gamepad if you intend to play games. So this is how you connect the Chotec to your HDMI display and to your cell phone via its Type-C port. I currently have the Chotec charger connected to charge the cell phone while using it as a TV box, as using it in this mode will put additional strain on your battery life. This cell phone is my old Samsung S8 Plus that was one of the first Samsung models that came with a Type-C charging port. And most of you would say that what I am about to do is old news, and this can be achieved without a Type-C hub by simply casting your mobile phone to your TV. But this is quite different. Look at the screen of the phone and the screen connected to the TV. They look quite different, because what is shown on the TV is not the small screen when you use Miracast or some other mirroring app. What you are looking at, is an Android desktop launcher app built into all Samsung smartphones with Type-C ports called Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is Samsung's official desktop interface, designed to give the user an Android experience similar to what you have on a TV box, and it is geared towards using mouse pointers with resolutions up to 4K quality. But keep in mind, you cannot access this interface without the use of the Chotec Type-C Hub. 
The interface doesn't require the phone's display to stay on while in use, which further increases the phone's battery life. Other phone brands and tablets with Type-C ports carry their own desktop interface and are different in certain ways from each other. The Chotec Type-C multiport adapter fully interacts with the phone's interface, not only providing display to a monitor or TV, but also facilitates the use of storage devices like flash drives and external hard drives. It also allows the use of USB controllers mentioned earlier like mouse pointers and gamepads. This launcher comes with features of your favorite alternative launchers. It comes with a taskbar that contains navigation bar and status bar, and it also has an apps button where you can access all the app and create shortcuts to the desktop via drag and drop feature. For the hardware enthusiasts wondering what kind of power this configuration provides, take a look at the CPU and GPU information. This dated Samsung S8 Plus carries an octa-core CPU divided into two cores clocked at 2.3 GHz. That's faster than any TV box to date and it has support for both 32 and 64-bit ABIs. To power your display, you are running the Mali G71 GPU with OpenGL ES 3.2. And under system information it shows that you are running on 4 GB of LPDDR4 RAM. Now that's quite a configuration to stream movies and TV shows, and it's even better to play Android games. I'm sure you're eager to see what kind of performance and benchmarks you get with this configuration, but I am taking it to the next level as I now connect the Cho Tech adapter to another mobile phone. This time it's the popular Huawei P30, and it's more powerful than the S8 Plus, with a Type-C port and a different interface. For Huawei phones and other phones out of China this is their desktop launcher called EMUI. EMUI has a similar layout to the Samsung launcher with minor variations and button placement. The new Cho Tech Hub has no issues with this brand of phone whatsoever, and this just goes to show the compatibility of this hub. So using the Cho Tech Type-C Hub, I have now created a super high-performance Android TV box, and let's now take a look at how it stacks up against an official high-performance Android box. First. In this configuration, the CPU is an octa-core CPU divided into three cores clocked at 2.6 GHz. It has 32 and 64-bit ABIs, so you can run 64-bit applications. Now what do you say to that? For my display, I am running on the Mali G76 with a refresh rate of 60 Hz and open GLES 3.2. And I'm running on 6 GB of DDR4 RAM and 128 GB of internal storage. I also have Bluetooth 5.0 and there is absolutely no overheating. To show some benchmarks, take a look at the RAM and storage read and write speeds. I am getting a RAM copy speed of 21,652 megabytes per second, and a storage read speed of 457. This is crazy fast, as the average high-scoring TV box has a RAM copy speed of around 5,000. Take a look at the Wi-Fi speed results. The both Wi-Fi bands hit the maximum speed of my internet connection. When I connected the LAN cable to the hub, it wouldn't recognize the connection. However when I connected it to the Samsung S8 Plus, I had LAN connection and it also hit the maximum speed of my network. So the Cho Tech hub is not at fault, and the Gigabit LAN port works according to its description as shown on the S8 Plus. This is the Antutu benchmark, and I got a score of 371,033. Now come on. This is outrageous. It's going to take forever before any regular TV box to have hardware that scores this high. Even the Nvidia Shield isn't this high. So again it proves my claims about having the most powerful TV box right in your pocket, but it's only possible with the Cho Tech Type-C Multiport Adapter. But that's not all. These are the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. Geekbench 5 installs fine on the P30, but for reference to TV box scores I used Geekbench 4. If you intend to use this configuration, you have blazing fast CPU speeds clocking 3320 single core and 9475 multi-core. These scores are frightening, but it is possible with the Cho Tech adapter and a good mobile phone connected to your TV. If you are an Android TV box gamer, and you had GPU benchmark scores like these imagine what you can do. These are the Slingshot Extreme scores and you have Vulkan support in the 4000s. On a regular TV box the basic Slingshot score could barely cross 500, and here it is over 3000. 
and finally as expected, a maxed out Ice Storm Extreme score. So all this rant about a super TV box. Could the Cho Tech adapter deliver on video playback, streaming, and high graphics gaming? Let's find out. I will start with the important basic stuff. Using this TV box configuration the P30 has no root access, with Google Widevine Level 1, with HDCP 2.2 protection. This means that you have Netflix in HD and 4K quality. Netflix plays HD and 4K quality, and the Android TV version of YouTube which I sideloaded plays in 4K quality also. I will now play some 4K videos using the Kodi Media Player. And only a win for Barca would be enough. Tico taken a tragic tail off, helping him up. That looks to me as though Costa is not going to be able to continue with him. Alves back to Fab. Even though the videos played very well, in this configuration you don't have HDR display, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos and DTS audio output. I will now use the Chotech Type-C adapter to connect a gamepad and play some high graphic Android games. Keep in mind, in this configuration due to the phone not being rooted, you cannot use keymapping apps. However, there are ways to root your cell phone so you can use these apps. Well, this is the uh, second half now, and it's underway. Taking it well under pressure. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Keeps it going. And now can he score? Here's the chance. And they've got him to score here. And the score is 1-0. I'm sick of people trying to kill me! I'm Batman.
So this is by far the best graphics quality I have ever seen from an Android device on my TV, and this is the final demonstration that confirms my claim that you have the most powerful TV box in your pocket, and you didn't even know it. But remember, your phone cannot do it alone, the Chotec Type-C hub makes it all happen. So I have come to the end of my review. This video was not to review the phone in the video, but to show you a truly remarkable device that makes it all happen. So don't get rid of your powerful cell phones, you'll be throwing away a very powerful TV box so to speak. So if a light bulb went off in your head during this video, don't waste any time and get yourself the Chotec 9-in-1 USB Type-C Multiport Adapter. At a very affordable price along with a coupon code, see the link in the description area. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the product as much as I enjoyed making it. Give this video the thumbs up if you like my presentation, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notifications bell for more TV Box Stop presentations. Stay tuned, and see you in the next one.